Hey there, it's Tyler with AIWritingSchool.com, and today we are talking about Claude 3.5 Sonnet and how it is a game changer when it comes to online writing. It is mind-blowing how advanced and how accurate and how artful this new Claude 3.5 is. It is changing the game for me. On a daily basis, I'm using it almost hourly in an average workday. I'm using it to write content, to revise, edit, and to even think of creative ideas that I would have never thought of myself. So let's actually jump into it in this little mini AI writing masterclass using Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Can't wait to show you what I'm doing with this. Uh, to teach this to you, I'd actually like to use our AI writing method, which is tip. So I'm going to ask it to use the artifacts feature to actually create a graphic that may help explain this a little bit. So we're going to say, please create a trendy graphic illustrating my tip AI writing method. Now in this conversation, I've already trained it on what the tip AI writing method is, which is train, instruct, and polish. Train being the, the idea that you need to train it on your voice or the voice that you would like to write in. Instruct, which is instruct with intent. What do you intend for it to write? And then polish, polish with your perspective, your unique, your unique human perspective. So we're going to put this in. And I'm going to show you how cool it is that it does this artifact feature. So here it is generating it, the code, and it's going to pop out a, a visual for teaching what I just kind of walked through there. And so here we go. The tip AI writing method, train, instruct, polish. Now, is it perfect? No. But this is what is so cool about this. If I wanted to make adjustments to this, all I would have to do is type into here. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about teaching you how to use Claude for great online writing. So let's start with train. This is the most important part and probably one of the biggest game changers I've seen with Claude is that when you train it on a set of writing, it actually analyzes it <clears throat> in a really accurate way. So what I would recommend doing is going to Claude, obviously creating an account. You don't have to have a pro account, especially if you're not using this, um, you know, hundreds and hundreds of words um, per hour. As long as you're not doing that, you can get away with a free plan. Uh, but let's go to uh, my website here, and we are going to grab... Uh, whoops, wrong one there. Yeah, writingschool.com. Okay, let's go to blog. All right, so I'm going to grab this. I'm going to just do this. I'm not going to worry about those images. We're going to copy and we're going to paste. All right, and we'll grab another one. I'd recommend doing at least two, if not three. You wanna shoot for a few hundred words. You wanna give Claude enough context um, to train it. That's what this is about, is training it with taste. That's what I like to say, training with taste. Hopefully that's memorable there, the T and tip. Train with taste. You wanna train it with your taste, with your unique perspective too. Um, so we're gonna add this in there, and the prompt that we're going to use, that I recommend using here, is please review the blog post below. And one caveat here, if it's a newsletter, say newsletter. If it's a social media post, say social media post. You want to be very specific of what it's analyzing. You're gonna give it context here. That's a big part of training is giving Claude context on what you're training it with. You don't want it to assume anything or leave anything to chance. So please review the blog post below and analyze for my writing voice, tone, and style. And the reason we're doing this is because ChatGPT and Claude even in the past has been notorious for creating generic robotic sounding content that's just, just repetitive and just basically is the average of the most average type of content you can, you can generate. This is to avoid that. So we're gonna have it review this blog, these blog posts and analyze from a writing voice, tone, and style. All right, and then at the bottom of this, we're gonna give an instructions after reviewing, please await further. I'm not sure why I said await. Uh, it's kind of a weird word. Please wait for further instructions. Okay, let's see what it does here. It's already offering an analysis of my writing voice, tone, and style. 
And this is this just is mind blowing. Um, because within seconds, it is recognizing that my voice is converca- conversational and casual, personal and relatable, enthusiastic about AI and writing, an entrepreneurial mindset. Uh, the tone's friendly and approachable, excited and passionate, informative but not overly formal, encouraging and motivational. Uh, and this is where this is where it gets powerful because it picks up on that it's a mix of short and medium length sentences. And if you are a writer by trade, if you have worked as a writer for very long, or if you do it, uh, you create content, you know how important it is to mix up your sentences. Um, The use of fragments for emphasis. Uh, One of the things I learned as a professional writer is you really have to throw away a lot of what you learned in grade school when it comes to writing because the more you write like you talk, the better writer you will become, especially if we're talking about online writing. Now, if you're doing research papers or something for a letter grade in, in college, um, obviously this is a different case. But when we're talking about online writing, blogs, email marketing, copywriting, direct marketing, it's really important to, t- to write like you talk. And unfortunately, in the past, AI has not been great at doing that. Um, but this helps. Conversational flow, mimicking natural speech patterns, casual and accessible language, industry-specific terms, use of contractions, rhetorical devices, analogies, and metaphors. I mean, it is so, so specific. Hooks in transition, strong opening lines to grab attention. These are universal, universally helpful uh, content writing tips. But not everybody has this style. It can be helpful, and so if what I want to encourage you to do is grab content that is in your voice if you have it, but if you're just getting started, grab the voice of someone else that you admire and start there and then edit, because that is the last part of our tip method is we're going to train. Um, We're about to instruct it to write blog posts, and at the end, we're going to polish it. Polish it with your perspective, not the perspective of anyone else, but your perspective. That is something that AI cannot do. And that's what I really want to encourage you with. So we're going to use this now to instruct it. So here we go. Please use this voice, tone, and style to craft a blog post. And first, though, we're going to break this into to multiple steps. We're going to make this simple uh, for Claude and for us. We're going to break this into multiple steps. We're going to start with... Can you give me different ideas? Because you don't want to just say create a blog post. It's just going to look at those two blog posts and probably create something very similar. But if we get it to be a little creative, if we get a little creative and instruct it with intent, then it'll come out with a better result. So let me show you what I mean. Can you give me five attention-grabbing blog ideas about the... Upcoming AI writing revolution. Here we go. All right, so it's going to update this and this article here. The day I fired my human writer and hired an AI. That is that is great. AI plus you, unstoppable, 10 jaw-dropping ways to super hard to writing with AI. The five-minute blog post, how AI is making writer's block extinct. I love that. From mad to money, how AI writing is revolutionizing small business marketing. The dark side of the AI writing revolution. Um, I think what I like the most here, I really like the five-minute blog post. I think that is great. So instead of Instead of typing anything, really, I'm just going to say, well, I guess I'll type this, but as little as possible, I like number three. Can Now, this is where instruct with intent is important. Can you write a, and let's do a 800-word blog post on this topic. Please incorporate my voice, tone, and style. Include a, and you can do this, include a CTA for AI writing school. Here we go.
This is pretty good. I like this too. AI isn't running for you, it's running with you. A real life example. This is pretty good. All right. So let's do the last part of our method, the tip method, polish. Now this is where we take something that is good and turn it into something great. I'm going to look for what I read. And from my perspective as a professional writer, I sense a little bit of maybe cheesiness or awkwardness or just something that doesn't feel right. And so I'm going to point those things out. And I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it with Claude and let it know I don't like it and give it another chance. So first thing here, uh, fellow content creators, do not like that. Okay, buckle up. Do not like that. I do like this. I like the story. Like I like the imagery. It's giving picture. This is 11 p.m. You've got a blog post to you tomorrow. Your coffee's going cold. Your eyes are bloodshot. That's imagery. That is that's great. All right, spoiler alert in our AI. I don't really like the word bestie. It doesn't feel like me, so I'm going to point that out. And then there's the call to action. All right, let's, I'm going to grab these. I, and we can just be very direct here. I do not like following word choices. And then I'm going to tell it why I don't like that. It feels a little, and this is something I've noticed, is it tries a little too hard and gets a little cheesy sometimes. So it feels a little, and you can say that it feels cheesy. A little overly dramatic in some places. I don't know. It's just how I kind of feel about it. It feels a little cheesy and a little overly dramatic. Can you rewrite to be more direct and punchy? Okay. And of course it agrees with you. It typically will. So I like that a lot better. Get ready because AI-powered writing is about to flip your content creation world upside down. That's much better. Um, I still would polish this with a human hand, though. I still, when I would, when I take this into WordPress, I'm going to change this line just because, from my experience, I know there's a better way to say that, and so I'm going to say that. I'll probably keep this content. Go down into this. I don't really like BAM, so I'll probably take that out. And then the rest of it kind of stayed the same. So we have two different versions. And that's something cool about this document feature is you have different different versions of this. Um, but once you get ready to grab it, you can just copy contents, throw it into WordPress, add an image, optimize for SEO. And you can ask it to help you do that. Um, one thing I like to do with this is like, can you write a 120 character SEO meta description targeting AI routers block. There we go. All right, hopefully this session has been very helpful. A little mini masterclass on using Claude 3.5 Sonnet to take your content writing to the next level. If you're interested in learning more from AIWritingSchool.com, just check out our website here. You can join the wait list and be a part of our AI writing revolution. We're starting a community, a membership, a place where you can learn the latest and greatest methods for AI writing. Um, this is for writers, bloggers, freelancers, marketers, entrepreneurs, founders, content creators, basically anyone who has to work with words for a living. And this is really about helping you craft limitless, natural-sounding content. That way you're not wasting hours and hours 
banging at your keyboard. Um, we like to say write smarter, not harder. I've already walked through this method here. Um, here's the curriculum we're going to be walking through inside of the school. Here are the pricing options, but for now, just click join the wait list, and you can get on the list right here, fill this out, and we'd love to hear from you. You can also sign up for our weekly AI writing tips, absolutely 100% free, and we have plenty of resources on the website as well. Hopefully this is helpful. Can't wait to see you inside AI Writing School. Good luck, and have fun.